Oh my god. That's a Three dollars. Going in my basket. But look at all the sales, you guys. Two dollars. I mean, two dollars. Seriously. There's so many sales in the shoes, actually. So, the one color that I don't have for four dollars. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't follow me, then you won't know this, but Kmart is my second home. I live there, pretty much, don't I? Pretty much. Yeah. This is my husband Elliot, if you don't know. And basically, I do Kmart hauls all the time. You're right, Delin. I do Kmart hauls all the freaking time on my channel. So this time I thought I'd switch things up a little bit. And I would take you with me while we go shopping. We're going to Melbourne for VidCon and there's a couple of things that we need to buy. So we need to get a stroller. We need to get some hairspray, um, some sorbeline cream for Darcy, some, what else? Pants. Oh yeah, some black jeans for me. Underwear, because my bloody underwear all seems to be maternity and it just keeps falling off me now. And there's one other thing, a backpack. Could you write a list? Because I feel yes. like we're going to forget all of this. So, you can come with me to my local Kmart. My local one is um, the Hyperdome. So, well, it's actually, I'm kind of between two. So, I'm going to go to the Hyperdome one. And, yeah, you guys can come with us. All right. Ooh. So good. Cool. Oh my god, so cute, only seven dollars. Do we need that in this room? I feel um, like we don't need it in this room. Pillow, it's a very crappy pillow. Yeah, but like it's not ever for pillow use it. Like do you ever buy pillows that look like this for actual pillow use? I don't. I didn't explain, but we're in the baby section right now. Um, this is next to the home section. Well, it's the baby section. It's sort of like the baby decorating room section. It's all like a little corner. Oh my god, there's so many things in here that they've added that I haven't seen since I've been here. And what? I was here like when? Like two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks yeah. ago. This is the cart that I want in my house, but I can't because I've got a baby, so it kind of doesn't work. It's only $20, and it's a bar cart. So good. And it's got like a glass face and everything, and it's like on wheels. I really like it. <clears throat> For those that have no babies and want to like display your alcohol, highly suggest this. That's actually quite nice. It is, isn't it? I feel like it's very similar to our um, coffee table. Funny that, because we got it from Kmart. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. I never knew they did this. $29. Is it? That's like a bedside table. And it's locked on there? Yeah. yeah. You guys, have a look at the top of it. How cool is that? He's definitely done a poo, babe. I can't spell it. 100% done a poo. That's it. Right, what do we actually have to buy? Oh, we yeah. have a list. I get so overwhelmed when I come to Kmart. We need a stroller. We need a backpack. We are in stroller territory. Are we? Um, no. Not, not even close. No. It's the other side. What do we need in home? Uh, nothing. We don't need anything. There's a, um, there is something I need from here. <coughs> I was thinking about, and don't judge me, Elliot, because I know you know that we've got too many things already, but for the bedroom shelf that I want to put in. The one you want to put your makeup on? Yeah. The one that we're going to have to walk past every day? Potential. You don't agree? I don't think the shelf's going to work at all. Oh my god, you guys. How cute is this? Three dollars going in my basket. This is potentially one of my favourite spots of Kmart. It's where they get the like little, little planty knit, bits and knit. What do you call it? Like bits and bobs and stuff, and like canvas prints and like. Oh, I'm dying. 
So I love this stuff. Thinking of getting this for the room. It's so cute. So cute. And the plants. I can't design the plant. some stuff. I need to stop buying stuff. Oh, it's similar to what you liked before, but it's got a marble base. Do you like it? No. Why not? It doesn't have baubles. No. It just looks unfinished. Well, that's annoying. I love it. <laughs> no, the other one looked, looked more awesome. Everybody that works in this shop has passed us and has seen me vlog, and it's like exactly my worst nightmare. The, the blonde she before was like double taking. She's like, oh, what are they doing? Oh no, I hope I don't get in trouble. This is my like my worst fear, you guys. I'm Imagine like getting it. like kicked out and like banned from all stores nationwide. <laughs> oh, that's the letter board that I wanted. My but only, expensive. No, but my own thing is they don't come with pink letters. Spray paint them. No, where do you get pink letters from? <coughs> I'm not sure. I think you can also get a pink board from somewhere. So how does it stick? Is it magnetic? No, it's like a felt board and then it's like stuff that sticks to felt. Oh gosh, it just sounds like Darcy would eat it all. Okay. Alright, let's go to the next section. Oh, how cute is that plant? It's only 25 bucks as well. Okay. Oh my god, you I was actually thinking of this for the bed. What do you think about? Too thin. Yeah, but it's meant to be like soft to actually keep you warm. Oh. It's to decorate the bed. You don't agree? I feel it's just gonna get really wrinkly. And you're gonna have to iron it. Have to iron something that's decorative. Totally an unnecessary buy. Kinda necessary, but like this is what I mean by Kmart, it just talks to you. I need to get pens for the VidCon. Don't I? Or am I gonna write notes with it? Do you reckon I should just get something like that? Um, well you want a pen that's gonna work. Mm, that should work. That's what I'm buying it to do. Gosh Darcy, your bum's sweet. I'm gonna get something like that. I reckon like, I don't reckon fancy looking pens are going to work that well. But look at all the sales, you guys. Look at all the clearance items. I'm just obsessed. Clearance. I think I might get this. It's unnecessary, but I mean, Vicon. It could be my Vicon book. It's nice. Does it have sections? Um, or does it just look like it has sections? I don't know. But it's going to be my Vicon book. Nice. Yeah. 250 Yes, this is what I'm talking about. What do you reckon? Or is it not big enough? Ah, uh, that's the same size we've got Darcy, isn't it? Yeah. I guess real test, does the book you want fit in the bag you want? Yeah. But then I would just take Darcy's bag. And But would you take a laptop as well? Like, you're taking your laptop yeah. to VidCon? Because then you're going to have your charges. Well, not to and... VidCon, but to Melbourne. To Melbourne. I'd just rather use Darcy's. I think I'll just use Darcy's backpack. Yeah. You guys, how cute is this? I think I'm going to get one for Darcy for his birthday. He loves puzzles so much. I think I'm going to get one of each because $2, I mean $2, seriously. And look at them all. So much stuff. Oh my God. That is the cutest stuff. I love wooden toys at the moment. I'm like living for it. Do you want any of these ones? How cute. I think this is where Penny and Mum got the um, fire truck, because look, it's yeah, there. Look, here it is. Yeah. Does that look familiar, Darcy? Is this your truck? I love the little ones. Oh my God, they're only $5. $5. Five dollars. Five dollars. There's sale items. Two dollars, you guys. Shame we just went shopping the other day and got all these other ones. Oh my god, that is so cute for two dollars. Oh 
Melbourne. Oh my god, it's only six dollars. Do we need any for Melbourne? He can rub that. Oh no, we, we, he does have a lot of winter clothes now. Yeah, but not like thick stuff. Yeah, maybe. We maybe. might have to just layer him up or something. I don't know what we're going to dress him in. Oh my god, you guys, there's so many sales in the shoe section. Are they on sale? How cute would they have been though? How much? Well they're 12, but I get, found these ones, 8 bucks. How cute! I love them. Do you reckon that size 3 is his size? <gasps> Maybe I should go a size 4. Yeah, that's looking a little cramped. I don't think they have a size 4. It wasn't me. He's having a ball. <laughs> Are we sure that size 5 isn't the right size for him now? Oh, I mean... I guess it doesn't matter too much at this stage because he's not properly walking. Because like, I feel like it is a little on the bigger side, but it's... I mean, it is big, yeah, it's isn't big, it? Yeah, 5 yeah. too big. Four's the sweet spot. Oh yes! There's a 4! We have a winner, people! Is it actually a 4? Uh, <sighs> This size is three to six. Yeah. On the deck. Let's have a look at his foot. It's the same as before. Does what's it say inside the shoe? Four. Four. I could go with it. Should I try a five in it? <coughs> this is the five in it. I actually feel we should go the five. Yeah, that one actually doesn't look as silly. The other five yeah. looks huge. baby arrival kit and I just thought it was like a little chocolate and you say like my baby arrived on X date. How cute is that? Why didn't we have that? I kind of really like this idea for the next baby. That is, is a cool idea. It's only 10 bucks as well. <laughs> Do you want to get a look and see which one we want? Yeah. I don't want to get anything too fancy. Well, you don't get much for 40 bucks, do you? No. And if that's 40, I'm just going to do it. I mean. I reckon just the 20 buck one. And then that way, if it gets ruined, we don't lose a lot of money. Not in fashion anymore. Maybe not. Maybe I'm out of fashion. There's not as many cell cut items as well. Tinkerbell! And Alice! Oh my god! I love it. I'm not loving the t shirts at the moment. Step up your game, Kayla. We <laughs> love that music box. Might have to come back in the summertime and get that. It's full, honestly. So the um, glittery star shoes are reserved for the box. I love this kind of sand. 
They are pretty cute. Should I grab them? Maybe. Love them. And they actually look so comfortable. The base isn't, but the actual like padding here is. Are they cute? I really like them. But I kind of don't like buying things on full price. So they have my shoes on sale in the colour, the one colour that I don't have for four dollars. Four dollars. So like these ones, look at black and gold. I wonder if they got the size. They're all saying size six. It's an eight. I wonder if I'd fit an eight. <gasps> it's a nine. Why not? Why not? I'm not even going to try them on. I just go straight in my basket. To sleep. We finally got everything we need. So now I'm going to go home and I'll show you what we got. All right, you guys. I'm home now. I bought so many goodies. I'm so excited to show you all. There was lots of things on sale in the baby area, but in the rest of the store, there wasn't a great deal that was on clearance or things like that. So I think potentially they've now got rid of their uh, winter stock and they're now into spring stuff so i reckon head into store around the mid season to actually get the start of the sales in came up for some reason that's just how it seems to be but anyway let's get into what i got i definitely got some bargains if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up so that i know to do more like this i'm heading down to melbourne as i said so i'm thinking of doing shop with me while i'm in melbourne in the different stores that i go to so give it a big old thumbs up if you want to see that first up as i said i think the last thing you probably saw the clip of was or potentially close to the end were these shoes so you can definitely tell that they've been worn a little bit uh, obviously around the store or they've been bought and returned for whatever reason I'm not too sure but I love them they are my favorite kind of shoes they go with absolutely everything and they were on clearance for four dollars down from 17 originally and they have the gold on this one and the gold and silver which is a little bit different to the other ones the other ones had the red um the red rose and then the other ones as I showed you in the clip were cream with the goldy silvery sort of pattern so I'm getting a lot of use out of them the only thing is I have noticed it's got a big scratch or scuff mark on there but honestly from a distance you can't even tell that it's there and I get so much use out of it it's really not for four dollars I mean seriously for seventeen dollars hell no but for four dollars yeah next up is this cute little accessory now for those of you who don't follow my vlogs you won't know but I'm currently doing up the bedroom oh well oh, actually I did mention it in my last video but yeah I'm doing up my bedroom at the moment so I thought this little, little accessory to go next to one of the lamps would be super cute oh there's heaps of scratches on that one <laughs> yeah I'm sure it'll buff up fine though. It looks like it's kind of a clay sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I thought it was so cute. Like there's like a little sort of teapot, little spout and it's got things growing out of it. Obviously fake. I'm terrible with plants, although I'd like to get better at them. But anyway, that's another story. Uh, so this was $3, you guys. $3. $3. Moving into the kids section, we bought this little hat. Now it doesn't look right on the screen from what I can see. It's getting all like pinkified from this but it's like a khaki kind of green um it's really nice it's just actually it's more of a green than a khaki green mm, no it's probably khaki it's a bucket hat and it's in the size one to three years and it is four dollars fifty bargain next is a really boring one but something that i had to buy was underwear so i just got this three pack of what are they called cotton sf BL three pack don't know what that means or what that stands for I bought it in a size 16 but I'm kind of thinking I'm going to regret that because I do tend to size down in underwear because I do find that it's just it stretches after a few uses but in this case oh I don't know maybe it is going to be too stretchy 
I just don't know my size at the moment, you guys. Things are all changed, have all changed since having a baby. And as you guys know, I've been going to the gym, but then I've kind of not been the last few weeks. So I don't really know where my body sits, what clothes fit me really, because all my underwear are just falling off me because they are maternity underwear. So you're not supposed to wear them when you're not pregnant. But anyway, I'm going to try them on, see if they go well. And if they don't, I'll just go buy them in the 14. They were $12 for a pack of three, which by the way, I think is a bit ridiculous. $4 for each knicker is like ridiculous, I think. So here we have some baby shoes. Now I did show you the baby shoe section and I was quite impressed with their selection. They have very good taste came up with baby boy shoes. Um, these ones were originally $12 down to $8. So I mean, it was no great saving, but I mean, any savings better than no saving. And I bought them in a the size four. They've got like a grip on the bottom. Um, because he's starting to like stand up now, I find that the hard base shoes help sturdy him and to sort of, um, not advocate, but encourage him to stand. And they're Velcro, so of course, that's so much easier with babies, as you guys know. He doesn't pull his shoes off yet, which I'm very thankful for. And they've got kind of little, like, rocket carrots on them. I don't really know what they are. I think they're meant to be rockets, but they look like carrots with eyes. On the theme of shoes, I did also buy this pair of shoes. I thought they were really fancy. These ones I got in a size 5 because they did do them in a size 4, but they looked like they were going to be too small for him. Um, so, yeah, I kind of went the bigger size up. And, I mean, it means that more time he'll get use out of it. At this stage, because they have such a small opening here... It doesn't really matter if it's a bit too big for him. The only thing is it's probably going to be a bit awkward for him when he's starting to learn to walk. But at that point, he's probably going to fit these perfectly anyway. Also, they were $8 down from $15. So that one was a bit more of a saving. And on here, it's kind of got like a khaki, a very faded grey khaki look about it. And yeah, you can see. I just thought they were really trendy. Next up, we got the little wooden... Um, what do you call it? Jigsaw puzzles. I got the numbers one. Now it does say wooden, but it looks like it's like a fake cardboard kind of with um, how rounded the edges and stuff. So I hope that when he plays with it and sucks on it, it doesn't actually like tear like cardboard does. Um, I guess we'll find out. It was only $2 if it does, but he absolutely loves just pulling the pieces out. I can't wait for the day that he learns to put them back in and that's fun. <laughs> and then the second board was just the letters one. And these ones are sort of joined together for some of them, which I'm not necessarily keen on, but eh, it's all right. We'll be fine. Uh, and again, $2 for that one. Moving into the stationery section, you guys saw me pick this up, but I was obsessed. It is so cool. It says, girl gang, chill, I need coffee. And it's got all the different, like, not emojis, but you guys know what, and you can see what it is. Yeah, I just thought it was really cool. And it's pink, which is my favorite color. So if you don't follow my Instagram, which I'll leave my handle here if you want to follow. Um, but I do a lot of, like, pink themed photos. So I thought this would be kind of cool for one of my photos. And also for my VidCon book. So I want to have, like, a specific VidCon book to take notes, to write down any people's channels and things like that. So, yeah, I thought it was really fun. Oh, and that one was $2.50, I'm fairly sure. $2.50. So moving on, we've got these black jeans and I'm obsessed. The only thing I was really upset with was I was planning on getting the bottom ripped jeans. I kind of like the ones that I wear all the time and the ones I wore today, uh, but they didn't seem to have any there in any other size than 12. So, and they just were like compacted into a rack of like hodgepodge things. So it didn't have its own rack. So I'm thinking it must be the last season stuff that they sold and now they've brought in the new season stuff. So, I mean, that could be one of two things. It could be really good that they've, like, improved the quality of their jeans because I did notice that it is thinning between the crotch where your legs rub together, but it hasn't broken through, which I'm quite impressed with, and I've owned the jeans for, like, six, six to eight months now, which I'm very impressed with. Uh, so, yeah, so they look like this. Oh! <laughs> I think I'll just try them on for you guys, and you can have a look. Okay, so this is the pair of jeans here. The only grievance is the knee area is quite low, like my knee is actually here. Um, so it is a little bit off the right area. The other thing too, I don't know if you'll be able to see in this light, is kind of like bulging a little bit. Maybe that'll change with a little bit of time to stretch. And the other thing is like, it's like an awkward length. So the back, I don't know if you'll be able to see when I'm standing here. But the back is kind of like lifting up a bit. I think I'm just going to roll it up at the bottom or something like this. 
um, which will look quite cute with some shoes of some kind. I don't know. I'm not sold on them, but I mean, it'll get me through VidCon. The only thing as well is up here, it's very like tight, but again, I think it will loosen with time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sold on them, but they will do for $20. I have to say that the quality is very, very nice. Like it feels nice and thick, but I'll show you the back. So the pockets are nice. The button is definitely nice. They've got pockets at the front as well. Eh, I think I'm going to keep them, try them out and test them out. See how the quality goes. And I'll let you guys know in my Insta stories. And last but definitely not least, because as I said, we're going to Melbourne. We're going to be traveling with a baby this time. And I don't feel like taking my $800 or $900 pram with me and risking that getting thrown around in the luggage. So we have bought one of these strollers. It is just the $20 old bopper, whatever you want to call it, stroller. Um, and yeah, it just looks super simple, super easy, and um, it's more just so that we can walk around the city and know that he's okay, um, other than having to like carry him. I just really do not fancy carrying a toddler with me everywhere I go, and yeah, it's 20 bucks, super cheap. The only thing is the wheels do feel really, really cheap, but as I said, we're only going to be using it like every now and then, so honestly... For $20, I think it'll be worth it. So that is it for another video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Go and um, follow my vlogging channel as well if you liked that style of, um, you know, following me and my family around. We, we vlog every week one video. At the moment, we've been doing vloggers though, so you can go catch up on those if you haven't seen them. And as I said at the beginning of the video, you can subscribe right down below to see more Kmart hauls like this in the future. And yeah, I will see you all for VidCon and other videos in the next coming weeks. I will see you then. Bye.